All right, quick video for the day. Uh, I mentioned an uh, 74HC14 before. We were talking about hysteresis, and I said uh, it was kind of a poor man's hysteresis. You can run them in analog mode. Well, this is an example of running one sort of in analog mode. So if the input is low, then the output is high. If the output is high, then you have a high voltage here. And it will start charging this capacitor. And that capacitor will charge up. And when it finally gets to the threshold of this uh, hysteresis comparator, then this thing will switch. This will become high and this will become low. If this is low, then this uh, resistor will start discharging the capacitor and it will discharge down. So it'll go up and it'll go down and it'll go up and it'll go down. And it'll go between the two voltages that are set in the hysteresis of this part. And I'm using, like I said, a 74 HC14. So let's take a look at that. Uh, here's a little breadboard over here. I'll have one scope uh, probe on the uh, input of the uh, of the device and one on the output. In fact, uh, I actually have it hooked to, I buffered it. Okay, so just to be exact, I've got one scope probe hooked here and I'm gonna have one scope probe hooked hooked here. Okay, so let's take a look at this one first. And we get a nice square wave, okay? Very, very nice. Up and down and up and down, zero to five volts. And we have 15.32 uh, kilohertz. Very nice. Uh, what values did we use? Well, we used my favorite values, uh, 10K and 0 0.01 microfarads, because I have them. Uh, but uh, you could do the calculation, figure out uh, things. You can make this a potentiometer and you can have a variable, uh, variable speed. Um, change the capacitor to something small to speed it up, or something big to slow it down, and you get that. But let's take a look at the input. I think that's even more interesting. Okay, so, yeah, there's the input, and you can see it ramp up, and then it ramps down, and it ramps up, and then it ramps down. Um, so, yeah, that's the way these things work. Um, we could take, try to take a look at the um, voltages at which it... Uh, at which it... Uh, switches here. Let's go to uh, manual cursors and we will select one of these. So at the high it's switching at about uh, 2.9 volts and at the low it's switching at about 1.9 volts. So 1.9 volts and 2.9 volts. So there you go. Uh, easy way to make a uh, to make a nice oscillator, no need for a 555, five, five. just, uh, yeah, you just uh, do it this way.